Hi, this is Minzan here. In this video, I am going to show you how we can set up GA4 e commerce tracking in our Shopify store. You can see this is my Shopify store. Basically, we set up GA4 e commerce tracking to understand the user behavior or to know about the user what actions they are taking. Everything we can see through Google Analytics 4 and if we can see that then it will be easy for us to understand the business users behavior anyway without further ado let's get started this is my shopify store and this is the gtm i need to connect this gtm with this a store as well as enable the data layer so this is my code i just need to copy this code copy then this is my shopify backend and from here just click on settings customer events then add new pixel pixel name then add pixel from here i just need to click on permission and select not required and then data cell data collected does not qualify as data and remove these things Paste the code frame. Then we need to click on save and now connect. You can see here Pixel is connected. Well, then close it and let's say the GTM is connected with this website and data layer is enabled or not. So this is Google Tag Manager. I need to click on preview. This is my website. Click on connect. You can see here tag assistant is connected. If I show you the Google tag assistant, you can see the event page event is coming. The view item event, and this is the data layer. You can see. Anyway, you have seen that our GTM is connected and data layer is enabled. Now we need to go to our GTM and create some variables. Every variables will be data layer variables. And just go to the variable section. And I need to select this on for currency variable. Just copy. And from here select new. Then data layer variable and paste it over here and write a name the name will be dlb currency okay fine dlb currency just paste here and save the next one e-commerce dot value again new then data layer variable and paste here the variable name dlb value save the next one is e-commerce.items the variable name dlb items the next one e-commerce transaction id just copy click on new data layer variable paste here and copy the name and paste it again save then coupon for coupon we need to copy the data layer variable value again data layer variable and this on the name will be dlb coupon and save and then shipping again new data layer variable shipping dlb shipping save then tax again new dlb variable sorry data layer variable then name Anyway, and save. 
I have created all these variables. You can see here is the data layer. And based on this data, I have created these variables. Anyway, I need to create another variable and it will be custom JavaScript variable. I need to modify this items variable because it is not following GFR data layer schema. That is why I need to convert it to GFR schema. So to do it first, I need to copy this. Copy Google Tag Manager, the new and then custom JavaScript from the variables custom javascript i need to select this one and paste it here and from here we need to call the items variable which one we have created some times ago this one okay you can see items okay done write a name okay then save our variables are created done now we need to create some triggers just go to trigger section and from here click on new and we need to select the custom event every trigger will be custom event and you can see here the triggers first one is page viewed ok save then view item again new custom event view item fine then add to cart Add to cart and save. Again, check out. Save. The last one is purses. New custom event purses. Save. Okay, so our variables and triggers are created done. Now we need to create some tags. Go to tags, new, then Google Analytics, Google tag. We need to write here the Google Analytics measurement ID. To get this, we need to go to Google Analytics. You can see this is the Google Analytics. And from here, you just need to click on admin. And from admin section, you will see here data stream. Click here. Wait a second, please, and click here again. And you can see here is the measurement ID. Just copy this one. I'm going to create a constant variable. So, this is the code save. I need to call this GFR ID. Find configuration setting, it will be send page view false. Okay, fine. The tag name will be. Okay, now we need to create the Google Analytics for event. Just click on new, then select the J for event. From here, the measurement ID. We have created this one some time ago, and the event name, page view. And for Shopify, we need to add some extra parameters for page view. The parameters are page location, page title, and page referral. The location will be URL, page title will be page path and referrer, right? The trigger will be page viewed, then the event name, save. Again, click on new, then measurement ID, then event name. Event name will be view item. This is the event name and with the event parameters, we need to add some parameters. Currency value items as well as page location page title is referrer okay currency this is the currency variable items item will be the modified items the value this is the value location will be url title will be path this is the referrer Okay, this is the view item. The trigger will be event view item. The tag name save. Now add to cart again. Click on new, then Google Analytics event measurement ID. It will be add to cart. Need to add some parameters 
khai si người hà lưu items place location place title place refer with currency value Jeffrey scheme items modify titans URL Page path and this is the refer. Okay, the trigger will be event add to cart. The tag name save. Now begin checkout or begin checkout again. Google Analytics event measurement ID. This is the begin checkout. Event parameters will be currency value coupon and items. Coupon is optional if you want to use then you can, but the other three parameters is recommended. Currency value and items, right? Page location, page title, and page referral. Okay. Currency and value coupon. We already created this variable items. Location. Okay, this is the begin checkout event. The trigger will be begin checkout. Well, tag name, save. Now parses, new, event and measurement ID, event name will be parses, currency, transaction ID, value, coupon, shipping, tax. items as well as these three parameters currency transaction id value coupon shipping text i have created all these variables then items Okay, done. Now the trigger. Trigger will be event process. Okay, now save. Okay, our tags are created done. Now we need to test. To test it, we need to click on preview. Connect. Go to Google Analytics for admin. Then debug view. You can see our tag manager is connected. If I view a product, view item event is fired. This is our view item tag. If we click here, you can see. If I show you the variables, this is the modified variables. You can see here. If I add a product to cart, the add to cart event is fired. This is the add to cart. All the details are going again. I will add a product to cart. Now here are four items and check out. Click on check out. You can see that to cart event is coming. The items, all the data item ID, item name, price, and if I show you the currency, BDT, page location, page referral, page title, everything. This is the value and this is the checkout i checked out two items two to four four items total four this is the quantity two and quantity two if i show you the total value 
big number value that is showing this you can see well there is no coupon code that's why i can't see any coupon code if i show you there is no coupon this is the tax okay the tax is to a tax repurchases the purchase is done if i show you you can see in google tag me the preview for this shopify store the purchase event is fired and this is the data currency vdt transaction id the value there is no coupon that is why it's undefined or there is no value shipping is undefined in google analytics preview mode purchase event transaction id currency everything everything is going properly okay so you can see everything is passing to GA4 properly by the way if you need any helping hand to set up your tracking or if you are facing any issues with tracking then feel free to reach out to me thanks a lot for watching have a nice day bye bye see you again